Hi, here we have four friends Ashok, Bashir, Chirag and Deepak are out shopping. Ashok has less money than three times the amount that Bashir has. Okay, so let's write down each of these in proper equation form. The amount of money with Ashok is less than three times the amount of money with Bashir. Now Chirag has more money than Bashir, so C is greater than B. Fine. Uh, next is uh, Deepak has an amount equal to the difference of amounts with Bashir and Chirag. So amount with Deepak is difference of Chirag and Bashir. So C is greater than B. So D is equal to C minus B. And finally, Ashok has three times the money with Deepak. So A is equal to 3D. That is what we have. Fine. Cool. Uh, and finally, it's given that there are certain articles that they buy. They have to buy at least one shirt or one shawl or one sweater or one jacket. So all A, B, C, D has to buy at least one of these articles. Uh, so the cost of a shirt is 200 rupees. Cost of a shawl is 400 rupees. Cost of a sweater is 600 rupees. And cost of a jacket is 1000 rupees. Okay, fine. Next, Chirag borrows 300 from Ashok and buys a jacket. So we have uh, Chirag buys a jacket. So after getting 300 rupees. So now the amount with Chirag, which will be three, C plus 300, must be greater than 1000 rupees. So that basically gives us that C is definitely greater than or equal to. This must be equal to, right? Once Chirag borrows 300 rupees, he should have at least 1000 or more than 1000 rupees to buy a jacket. So C plus 300 should be greater than or equal to 1000. So that gives us that C is greater than or equal to 700. Fine. So now the amount of money left with A will be A minus 300. We'll remember this. Next, Bashir buys a sweater after borrowing 100 from Ashok. So Bashir buys a sweater. So Bashir, if he had B rupees initially and he takes 100 from Ashok, he will have B plus 100 rupees and he buys a sweater now and left with no money. So B plus 100 should be exactly equal to 600. So this basically tells us that Bashir initially had exactly 500. He borrowed 100 from Ashok and is now left with exactly 600 rupees to buy one sweater exactly. Okay. Now next is Ashok buys three shirts. Fine. Now Ashok, what is the amount that Ashok has? Ashok will have A minus 300 that he gave to Chirag minus 100 that he gave to Bashir. So this is the amount with Ashok now and he buys three shirts. Okay. Now if he buys three shirts, that means the amount with Ashok should definitely be greater than or equal to price of three shirts, which is three into two, 600 rupees. Ashok will definitely have after giving this amount more than 600 rupees. So we have A should be greater than or equal to 600 plus 400, which is 1000. So the initial amount with Ashok should definitely be greater than 1000. And we also know A is less than thrice of B. So B is 500, so A is definitely less than 1500, okay? And also we know A is equal to 3D. So effectively we get 3D is greater than or equal to 1000, but less than or equal to 1500. Dividing by 3, we get D is definitely greater than or, or we don't have an equality here, this is less. So D is definitely greater than 333.33 rupees, but definitely less than 500 rupees. So the amount of D is in this range. So in this range, which is the amount that he can buy, uh, what is the costliest, okay, what is the costliest item that he can buy? Can he buy a jacket here? The jacket is the costliest item. Can he buy a jacket? No, he has less than 500 rupees. Similarly, he cannot buy a sweater as well. Can he buy a shawl? Yes, shawl is the costliest item that he can buy. So the answer here is option B. Thank you.